before he gets back. Um, so let me move on to the dies. Again, I was there. One lady, I know Marilyn um, got a lot from this one lady. She had oodles and oodles and oodles and oodles of dies and cricket cartridges and stamps. Um, so I um, got a few things from her too. I think a couple of these are here. And one's great that Marilyn found. Another vendor, I think this was the lady with all the great deals. This was $2. This is called Floral Doily Motifs. And I didn't think I had this one. Again, it was $2. So I got that one. This was another um, die set that I got from another vendor. Um, I'm not sure how good these will work, but again, it was a dollar. And I'm looking for things to make quick cards, and I like this shape. Um, Marilyn found this one. We just cracked up. This I don't think I have this one. This is Gingerbread Man. One of the original Sizzix dies. And this was $2. So he's really cute. And um, for Christmas time, when I um, sent things out, I thought this would be cute to um, make some cards with. And then this one was a rose. This is the Stampin' Up! Original Spiral Flower. And I don't think I have one of these, but I thought it would be fun to add to my collection. Now these dies are some of the larger dies, the, um, the XL dies. And this one is um, the box with scallop flap and flowers. And I thought this would be good to give my clients, and it was three dollars, a little gift cards, little you know, like little um, thank you gifts or something. Or if I send them, you know, for referring a friend, for me to do the listing or help them buy or sell. I thought this would be really quick and easy. Um, project that I could put together and some of these types of projects that I'm doing is I'm pre-cutting certain things and laying them flat and I have like a little um, basket of go-to um, cuts so if I need to make it I can real quick my goal is to have um, some of this stuff ready to go so that's my next project so that's kind of where I'm kind of thinking with some of these purchases um, and dies and again like three dollars this was regularly forty dollars at Hobby Lobby can you believe it? Three bucks. This one I was excited to, to see as well. This one was three dollars. It is called Card A2 with Flap. I thought this would be good for two reasons. I can make mini albums with this to be as pages in a mini album. See this? Or I can use it as a card. Or I can use it as a card with um, a gift card inside as a thank you. For my clients or families and friends so um see it's a great size and because it's this type of die i can cut multiple sheets at the same time and that really reduces my time um when i'm prepping things now this one i squealed when marilyn she found this one and she's like you've got to get this one you've got to get this one and i was so excited if this one was at the lady with all the um deals this one was ten dollars but look, isn't that perfect? I can make cards. I can make door hangers. I can make um, mini albums, which I've been making for some of my clients. So you get the house. So hopefully you guys can see it. There's the house. And then there is the roof line and all the little um, embellishments for the front. The heart is even on there. And that's a cute little wonky little heart. See, it's kind of lopsided. And then all the little decorations are on there for the door and the uh, zigzag and stuff for the roof line. So I thought that was really, 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 really cute. So just cutting this would be fun. Um, so this was a great purchase. So thank you, Marilyn, for looking out for me. All day she was looking out for cool things that I could use. And wait till you see what we got inside the store. But the last bunch of stuff I'm going to show you from the yard sale were stamps. So, and um, embossing folders. So this cute little stamp, don't know why I liked it so much, but I thought it was really, really cute. It's called, it says Sweetie Pie. I thought that would be fun to add to my collection. It was only 75 cents, and this was Great Impressions stamp. So I thought that was really cute. So... I'm always thinking about cute things that I could do, and there's a couple of really new bakeries in town, and I thought that if I did a cute little card, and um, this would be a cute, if I got gift cards too, like those cute bakeries, this would make, make a cute tag to put on the card or whatever. 
So let me show some of the embossing folders that I got. Because I've been really turning to embossing folders a lot to make quick cards that I can mail. Because uh, I can't have them too bulky. That really co is costly. So embossing folders are a great, great way to add texture. So I got this one. This one was 75 cents. And it is a Doris um, embossing folder. It's super tape because somebody put this in. But it won't even open. Um, let me just rip into this bag so you can see it better. Um, but using the embossing folders has been a really, really quick way for me to crank out some cards. Um, and I've gotten a lot of great positive feedback from my cards. So this is the embossing folder. Hopefully you can see it. It has a little cupcake and then it has the border going around. And that's what I, Marilyn's like, what are you looking for? I said, well, I'm looking for some embossing folders that have like a decorative border that I can emboss the paper and then maybe just do a simple um, sentiment in the middle. Maybe a little flower collage or something. But with this, if it's their birthday or their their kid's birthday, which I am tracking some of that with some of my clients, I could send a cute little cupcake card and I thought that would be fun. So that's why I was kind of looking for simplistic cards because those that don't make cards, just these little small details, um, they appreciate that and um, it makes a really nice card quick. So I got that one. This one says wedding suit on it set to it was just one folder that I was in there for a dollar. It's a um, cuddle bug folder. Can you see the pattern? It's got the lattice work here, or I guess Harlequin, and then it has this decorative circle so I could put a quick sentiment in there. Um, and Marilyn was telling me about something Tim Holtz had that you could take a um, embossing folder and kind of kind of blacks out or stops it from embossing in the middle. I need to get that. So I'm going to be on the look for that. This one was still brand new. And I saw this one a lot of other bins used for even more than a dollar. So this one was still in packaging for a dollar. And I thought that one could go this way or this way. Either way, uh, there's no glare on that side. That will be good. So I got this one. And then this one was marked a dollar. But look, when I turned it over, it had a die and a folder. And I've been looking for dies that have um, words so that I can crank out a few of those and um, just because when I'm cutting out on the silhouette if I'm using like the metallic poster board that I got at um, the Dollar Tree it cuts nicely but something about that embossing when it it rounds off the wording and it makes it it, it uh, really finishes off that paper nicely so this one I thought was a great find it says missing you hi hello friend which I've sent some of those out of friends forever so this was like a little bonus kindred spirit um, find inside this bag because this was a cute um, embossing folder that I thought was cute this is called friends forever so this, I'll show you the picture. That's what comes in it. And there's the, how you can all make all the cute little cards. So I thought that would be a lot of fun to make some quick cards with those. I think that's all the embossing folders I got. And the rest should be stamped. Yep, stamped. What are we doing on time? Oh my gosh, 18 minutes. Let's see if I can fly through these, guys. Um, this one is a Dear Lizzie. I didn't think I had this one. Um, and if I do, I'll... Give it a new home or my daughter likes it too i thought this would be fun i'm always looking for things i can use in my albums and i didn't think i had one that had the days and the date got plenty of dates and days but i didn't think i had one together so that was a dollar there's that one and let me see if i can I wonder if i should come back and show you guys the stamps let me go ahead and cut it off here because we are at 19 minutes and i'll have a part two Stay tuned, guys.